I know that today's topic could be very, 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 tremendously very heavy. It's something that many of us, I'm almost willing to say all of us struggle with at some point in our lives. And the one thing we do not like to talk about because it'll most likely make us feel extremely uncomfortable and that is lust it's real it's very powerful and it can lead a lot of us down the path that pulls us further away from the peace and purpose god has for our lives but i want to tell you this you are most certainly not alone and defeating lust could damn near feel impossible at times you are most definitely not alone and defeating lust is possible even when it feels impossible with god's help you can break free from its grip so let's talk about how to overcome lust step by step because i believe freedom is within your reach my friend lust is more than just you know fleeting thoughts or a you know passing temptation it's a spiritual battle in ephesians first 6 to 12 it reminds us that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but against the rulers against the authorities against the cosmic powers over this present darkness lust tries to take the roof in your mind and if you don't deal with it it will grow more and more and more and more the first step in defeating lust is admitting that it is a struggle and understanding that it's not just about you know self-control or willpower it's about a deeper spiritual fight lust is a distraction from the calling that god has placed on your life it wants to pull you away from what is good holy and pure <laughs> lust thrives when we dwell on it when it gives us space in our minds in romans first 12 to 2 it tells us that do not conform to the pattern of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What this verse is basically saying is that you have the power through Christ to change the way you think. If your mind is constantly focused on the things that stir up lust, it's time to redirect that focus. When a lustful thoughts pop up, don't let it linger. Instead, immediately shift your attention to something pure and something holy. And Philippians 1st 4 to 8 gives us a cleared roadmap to this. It states, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. It's not just about pushing, you know, lust away. It's ultimately about filling your mind with things that lead you closer to God. The Bible tells us in 1 Corinthians verse 10 to 13 that no temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind and God is faithful he will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear God always provides a way out but we also need to take the intentional steps to avoid temptation but what does that look like Maybe it means setting boundaries uh, with the kind of content you consume, whether it's in movies, social media, music. It might mean removing yourself from situations uh, what you know to temptation is stronger. It's not about being, you know, logistic. It's about being wise. Jesus said in Matthew 1st 5 to 29, if your right eye causes you to stumble, gouge it out and throw it away now okay hold, hold up hold up he's not literally saying to 
harm yourself and remove your eyebrow but basically what this first is saying is you know he's or he's basically making a point you know take drastic measures you know to remove the things in your life that leads you to sin if your phone is the source of temptation limit your screen time or install you know filters that protect your mind if you know certain relationships or places stir up your lust addictions you might need to distance yourself from that it's not always easy or will never be easy but it is so necessary for your freedom stop stop please stop stop here's the thing defeating lust isn't you know just about avoiding temptation it's about strengthening your spirit as well in galatians first 5 to 16 it says walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh the stronger your relationship with god is the weaker the pull of lust will ultimately become. And now you might be asking, how do you strengthen your spirit, Adam? Well, the first and obvious one is through prayer, through reading God's word, and through surrounding yourself with a community that encourages you in the walk with Christ. Spend time with God daily. When you feel weak, go to him. And when you feel tempted, ask for his strength. What I literally do when I get tempted by lust i literally close my eyes and i just make images of jesus flash in my head and that usually helps me the most and remember this isn't something you have to be alone on as well if you're struggling with lust, maybe talk with someone that you trust the most you know confess your struggles and seek accountability in james first 5 to 16 it says therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed healing ultimately comes through honesty and god's you know you know god honors your willingness to be real about where you're at Lust might feel like a constant battle, but it doesn't have to define you. In 2 Corinthians uh, first 5 to 17, it says, If anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone and the new is here. You are not who you used to be. When you give your life to Jesus, you become a new creation. That means you have the power to overcome lust ultimately not because you know of anything you've done or, or but because of what jesus has done he has already won the victory um, over sin and temptation and in that victory is yours to claim you're not in this fight alone the holy spirit is with you and always will be with you empowering you every step of the way so please please don't give up you don't have to let shame or guilt you know keep you from pressing forward god is patient and he is committed to your growth you might you know stumble along the way but every step you take towards freedom is a step towards victory Lust does not have to control your life. With God's strength, you know, practice wisdom and spiritual growth, you can break free today. It's not and will never be easy, but it's so damn worth it. You were created for much more than just temporary pleasures. You were created to live in the fullness of God's love, peace, and joy, and don't let lust rob you from that. Take it one day at a time, lean into God's strength, and when you feel weak, remember that his power is made perfect in your weakness. You can do this, my friend, trust me. God is always with you every step of the way in your journey.
thank you so much and god bless you for taking a few moments out of this day to watch this video i pray that this message has spoke to you and if it has feel free to give it a uh, like and subscribe and the comments are there to continue the conversation whether it's feedback advice input or if you want me to talk about a, another subject in a future video you could also leave that in the comments below i'm adam representing team sos in case i don't see you on the next one make sure you have yourself a good morning afternoon evening and most importantly good night god bless you stay safe be safe i'm signing off peace